This video should have been up yesterday, but I've been binge watching La Reina del Sur, and I can't stop watching it. I'm 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 a, I'm addicted, and it's on Netflix, and it's awesome. And check it out. Hashtag not sponsored, uh, but it is you know like a telenovela, so it's in Spanish. So probably be hard to watch it if you don't know Spanish, but. Hey, there are subtitles, so if you want to read, you can do it that way, but I mean, like, it's awesome. I, I recommend it to everybody. I'm not done with it yet. I'm only on episode, like, 20-something. No, 30. I'm on 30. Damn. There's only one season. There's, like, 63 episodes. I have a problem. I can't stop. Every time, I'm like, another episode. One more episode. One more episode. One more, because, like, it shows you the next scenes at the end, and I'm like, I'm like it just gets better every time, and I can't, I can't stop. That's that's not why we're here today. This this is not the topic. So I'm I'm gonna stop talking about that. I'm gonna get to the real deal. Let's go. Today is October 6, 2016. Yesterday was October 5th, 2016, which means it's been a year since I've had my hysterectomy. Um if you do not know, I'm an FTM trans guy, and a hysterectomy is basically the removal of reproductive organs, and it means I will not be producing hormones, natural natural hormones, ever, ever again. Just, it's, there's nothing, nothing, nothing. It's all, everything's gone. Forever. I'm a little over three years on T. I'm pre-op, I haven't had top surgery, I haven't had bottom surgery. So just so we get that clear, so a year ago I had a total laryscopic hysterectomy with bilateral salopingo oophorectomy. So that means everything, all of it, it's gone. So if you're asking, yes, it's all gone. Or however you ask the question, but it's gone. It's all gone. There's nothing. It's gone. It's all gone. My stomach's empty, basically, is what that means, if you're wondering. I had it with Dr. Amy Garcia in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Operation was good, went smooth, it was good. That's This is one of the least invasive operations that or procedures that they can do with this operation. So I highly recommend it. I highly recommend you to look into it, Dr. Amy Garcia. I know obviously like you can't all go to her, but just look into her and look at the information she has about this procedure because she has done a lot of research for it. She's a big advocate, you know, for transmasculine people and whatnot. So I really recommend you at least looking into her. So especially if this is something you want to do and you want to know like the best procedure, you can look up this research that she has done. And hopefully that helps you realize that this is the best procedure to go with. Or even if your doctor doesn't know how to handle, you know, transmasculine people and you need to tell him like, hey, or she, or they, or whoever they are, my bad, whoever they are, that, you know, this is the operation and they need to do it like this. Um, and if they say no, find another doctor, because I have pictures of, like, before and after, but I don't want to, like, gross anybody out. I love watch. I love looking at them, but uh, I don't want to gross y'all out, so I'll spare you guys the photos. In regards to my recovery, everything happened within, like, the first few weeks, like, the two weeks uh, everything was fine. I was supposed to be in bed for like two weeks, but I really hated being in bed that long. So I did like, you have to get up and walk too. So I, I was at least in my house for two, a good two weeks, just like walking around and laying down and, you know, going crazy, but it wasn't bad and the pain wasn't bad and everything, it was fine. Everything was fine. Uh, my scars, I'll try to show you, but they faded really good. And also, my happy trail is just everywhere, so you you can't even really tell <laughs> where all the scars are. This is one of the incisions right here. You can barely even tell, you can barely see it. And then there's the incision in my belly button, which you can't see, because my happy trail pretty much covers it all. And then my other two incisions, this is one right here. This is the first, no. This one on this side is the first one. Right there. You can barely tell. You can barely tell that one. Either. Especially even when you're further. You know. It's nothing. So I have four visible incisions, basically. Two on my lower abdomen next to like my V-line. One right next to my belly button and one in my belly button. 
three outside my belly button were five centimeter incisions, so it's about that big. And the one in my belly button is a 10 centimeter, which actually just basically goes around the belly button as a whole, basically. I didn't have any stitches or anything like that. Most of it was sutures, which were on the inside, which sutures are dissolvable stitches. I didn't have any complications or anything like that. Within the first two weeks, though, I did notice that my sex drive went up incredibly. Like, it was insane. Like, my sex drive was ridiculous, and I... I, I was not about it, like, <laughs> especially, like, the first day or two when I, when I had to just, like, lay in bed all day and my sex drive was, like, and I was just, like, and my appetite went up during that time as well, but after that, everything went back to normal, um, I'm part of that 1% where, you know, nothing really goes down for me, it's just all, you know, pretty much the same, um. But I have seen with other guys who are on testosterone, their transitions like go like blow up after they get their hysterectomy. But that's just not how it went for me. Other than that, nothing really happened. Like I said, my recovery was really quick. Now I experience hot flashes, and I I'm pretty sure I did before. I just never really noticed them. But now I notice them, and I get hot flashes all the time. Um, Previously, before this, throughout my life, I had gotten, like, night sweats, and even, like, when I would take a nap, I would wake up sweating and stuff like that, and I live in the desert, etc., etc., so I thought nothing of it, but now, I have hot flashes, and I didn't actually really notice it until recently, and noticed that there were actually hot flashes. So that's the one con, but I'll, I'll take it. I'm fine. It's fine. I accept. Uh, <laughs> I accept the terms and conditions. Good to do business with you. Other than that, I really don't know what to say about it because I have made videos about this in the past. So there are videos, and if you want more, I, I will speak on it to give you guys a little bit more info about it and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I just want to tell you guys that it's been a year, and you know I'm really grateful. Uh, everything was good, everything is good, and it's it's good, and we're good, so... Next is top surgery, which if you want to share my GoFundMe link or donate to it, it is down below. GoFundMe.com slash funding the Caden. Or you don't have to because do what you want. I appreciate every and anything. So, thank you. Other than that, uh, that part of the video is over because I don't know what else to say about it. If you guys want, you know, specifics or anything, comment down below. Message me on my social media, which is in the description down below. Or you can check out other videos I've made about this. Or I'll make a new one, or new ones, or whatever. Whatever you guys want, just let me know. And, yeah. Now, on to a little bit of business before I end this video. We are almost at 500 subscribers. So that means somebody uh, gets to take the binder home. And we're only, like, 40 some subscribers away from 500 so we're like really close guys so 500 and somebody gets this and i'm excited because i'm ready to send this to somebody um it's it's a binder if you didn't know full length underworks black medium size size medium medium size binder um uh, full length compression blah 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 so almost there guys almost there and then you guys can get this and it's on the house. So that's exciting. Thank you guys and hello to the new subscribers. Like, hey, what's, what's going on? What's good with y'all? Thanks for subscribing. And I'm thinking about what I'm going to do for that video as well. I was thinking about doing maybe like five, oh, well, 100 chin ups, 100 pull ups, which 100 <laughs> push ups, 100 sit ups, and like 100 seconds of a plank. So maybe I'll do that, like, which will translate to 500, you know, exercises for 500 subscribers, which I got the idea from Derek Freta, Derek Direx Freta, uh, who I just, you know, found out about recently. So go check him out. He did 100 push-ups for 100 subscribers. So I think I want to do something like that, but I'm not sure. So that's that. Before I go, this is uh, another Ea Loca. A Aloka shirt. Uh, check them out. www.aaloka.com or Twitter and Instagram at, at underscore Aaloka. Aaloka is E L L A L O C A. So if you know. I went to the events on 
October 2nd, this Saturday, this past Saturday, it was awesome. I loved it. Uh, it was awesome, and it looked awesome, and it was awesome, and I'm glad I got to be there. I'm glad, you know, I'm just glad. It was a good time, and it's an awesome company, so check them out. Like I said, again, hashtag not sponsored. Everything I said on this, not sponsored. But I did get a goodie bag, and I do have some, like, conchas with me and masa pan and some cookies that they're really doubly decorated. There's some pictures on their Facebook, which is a loca, but uh, I tried to like get pictures and stuff, but I was just so busy like having a good time and enjoying myself in the tapas, oh my god, and the cerveza. Uh. Oh, and I jumped into a pool and a hot tub, so that's that. When you're about to dive in, <laughs> you're like, wait, wait, He's so like, you second guess yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you couldn't fit. I thought you couldn't fit. <laughs> I think you fit. <laughs> I did want to give you guys a little update on the sports tape that I've been using to bind in regards to the waterproof thing. I was, I did jump in the pool. And at the Air Loca event, and I was in the hot tub, and I got the tape submerged as much as possible. I got it wet as much as possible. It stood on the entire time. It really is waterproof. I was, you know, neck deep in the hot tub for a while, a pretty long time, and I was jumping in and out of the pool and swimming around and stuff. So it is waterproof, if you're wondering. It stood on. It didn't come up. It didn't, nothing. It was great. And that was really good. That was really cool to be able to swim and bind at the same time and, you know, all that good stuff. So, you know, to have something that, you know, wouldn't come off because of the water, that was really uh, cool and awesome. So if you guys were wondering, it is waterproof, and yeah. Um, it's still very risky, and like I said, dangerous, so do it at your own risk, but it's, I love it, it's worth it. But yeah, so I got some conchas here. Uh, the pink one is my favorite. I don't know why, but pink conchas have always been my fave. Uh... They're just delicious, and I'm not a sweets guy, so uh, conchas are actually great because they're sweets, but they're not like super sweet, so I don't feel sick when I eat them. Like, I, you know, like, I actually enjoy it. Like, for some reason, sugar just, I, I don't enjoy it anymore, but conchas, yes. 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 I have some masa pan from it, too. And then there's masa pan chocolate, which is kind of like a Reese's, because it's like, you know, masa pan covered in chocolate. I don't know what these are, they look like little piggies though, and I think they kind of smell like bizcochitos, which is a Mexican cookie, and I actually don't like bizcochitos. <laughs> My mom makes them every Christmas, and she makes like a million of, like, okay, that's an exaggeration, but she makes a lot, like batches and batches and batches and batches, like at least hundreds, and that's not an exaggeration, so. If you're ever looking for bizcochitos, call me, I'll call my mom, we'll hook it up, I got you fam. Now I'm going to show you the cookies that are just so dang adorable. Here's a sugar skull for like Tias de los Muertos. Here's like a tereta, a, a card from like a Lateria. Lateria is like Mexican bingo if you're wondering. And then here's this, Ea Loca cookie. It is so cute. Ea Loca. This is how you spell it guys. Um, it's a Spanish, it's two Spanish words if you're wondering, if you didn't know. And uh, yeah, and I love you know the gear this there's limited editions of these in black and white because they're exclusive from the event so go to the site asap and see if there's any left if you want one but yeah like i said if you have any questions or comments you can send them down below type them up comment down below like this video if you enjoyed it or if you like the shirt or if you like the conchas or you know or just because you know you like the things behind me because they're they're cool they're, you know that's Oh, they honked, so that means they liked it. They're going to give it a thumbs up, so you should too, because uh, peer pressure. My social medias are all down below, as always, as well in the description box. So if you want to check me out on there, message me directly. If you don't want to leave a comment, you can do that. If you had any questions or whatnot, um, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, because like I said, we're almost at 500, and, you know, that's... I'm just happy where we're at anyway, but if we get to 500, that binder is definitely going out to somebody. 
So if you guys want to hit me up, if you want to follow me, anything, go ahead, check out the social medias, subscribe to this channel, see me every Wednesday and Saturday. Comment down below, message me if you have any questions. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. I'm going to eat some corn chops and watch the Reina the Sur. Hit me up if you watch that show because it is amazing and me encanta. I'm in love with it and it's... Uh, <sighs> I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.